All right, so look at, we darkened in, this is fun. We, we got, we shaped it, we used our whisper lines, and then I'm darkening the detail, I used overlapping, here's size, this, this uh, wing is larger, that wing's smaller. I'm gonna go in here and I'll go ahead and do a layer, even though I'm not done down here, I can't help myself, I'm gonna put a layer of value this is going to be several layers. This is going to take several layers here. And then I'm going to put the, the pupils. All right. The other pupils, a little peekable pu pupil. Okay. They're darkening it in. And I'm going to put that reflection. Remember, reflections are important to help you identify where the light's coming from, where your character is, what direction your character is looking. And plus, the most important, it just looks really, really cool. All right, darken in that eye. I'm enjoying this one. I love it. And back here, little reflection back here. Push hard. That's nice and nice and dark. Look at that. Isn't that, isn't that wonderful? Now I'm going to start right away, even before I put the contour lines. I'm going to put a layer of value. I'm going to use scribble technique here. We're going to scribble that shading. See that? We're going to get that underneath this. Is it, look at already. Isn't that wonderful already? Put a little bit of shading and that beak is already pop, right? Pop, it's pop, it's popping out. It's coming out towards you. Pop, pop, pop. Coming out, we're coming right out towards you. That's our goal, 3D. All right, now we'll shade here. And look at this, I'm putting the value. Now, oh my goodness, I don't know what I, if I wanna work on the beak or if I wanna work on the tail. We can, uh, we can do, work on the tail a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit of, of feathers, a little bit of texture down the side coming up here. I love how that, remember we learned how to draw the scrolls and the flags in an earlier uh, lesson on our, our first season with the 21 draw, our first series. And then I'm going to put some more. So this one, we're taking what we learned before, we're building on it, we're adding to it. See, so here is that wonderful curling tail. And uh, now I'm going to put these, these feathers. I'll start right here. Very light to begin with. It curves down and it picks it up right in here. There's contour. See that wonderful curve? It even more than you think you have to. And then that curves inside. See? So I'll darken it. I'm going to come down. I'll leave a space. I'm going to come down here. This, this one's going to pick up down here at the bottom. See? Curves up. You don't have to draw the solid one, solid line. It's a feather. I'll add, I'm going to add some more detail with shading. This one curves back, gets smaller that size. All right. And I'm going to put another one back here, curving, following the curve here, following the curve. Curves a little bit more than the one in front of it. See that? So I'll darken this in. This one's going to jump up here. Isn't that cool? How the, you, you just add this detail. See? Add that detail. There's, I'm going to make see these little bumps. I'm going to put a little texture, and I'll put uh, I'll put four feathers. Why not? I'll curve this. Uh, yeah, I'll put four. Uh, that curves there. That comes down. This one curves in. Uh, this one curves the opposite way. You can barely see that in there. I'll put another curving bump. That one right there. See that? Ah, oh, it's looking cool. And this one is almost a, a disappearing back here. It's not perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. This one curves back and you see the end down there. All right. So right away, right away, I'm going to work on that under shadow. I'm going to, I'm going to take these, take my pencil and I'm going to, I'm going to put this value. See, I'm going to darken a little bit more along the edge. See a little bit more right along the edge. Give it a whole value here. And just enjoy it. This is the fun part. You work so hard to get to get all the the position to get the the object shaped. So I'm just going to keep on keep on adding value. Go here. Now when I'm drawing, uh, sometimes I'll listen to music. I love listening to Vivaldi or uh, Bach or. Uh, classical. I, mean, I love. I love listening to jazz. Sometimes I'll put. There's a. There's a, a YouTube channel called Paris Jazz. Paris Night Jazz, and I'll listen to that. When I was illustrating, I've written about twenty books on on how to draw. I hope you have a whole collection of them. Yeah, 
you just collect those books and change your life forever. A lot of those books are illustrated with uh, music when I'm at night drawing, when, when uh, uh, the kids are settled. And I, uh, I love jazz. I love classical. Whatever you listen to, you know, maybe you listen, you're, you're a pop music fan, whatever. It helps your creativity. All right. So this is, I'm blending it. See, it's dark here. Dark. And come on down. Sometimes I'll even on YouTube, I'll type in, you know, Crashing Ocean. And I'll, I'll listen to that when I'm drawing. When I was working on my book, uh, uh, You Can Draw in 30 Seconds, this book right here. Oh, what a shock. I just happened to have it. On this one, I listened to a lot of uh, streams, rivers. I type into YouTube, um, you know, these the, the loops of rivers and hear the river babbling. And I would just be, it was just wonderful to draw. Now, you're not going to believe this, but penguins. Penguins in the Antarctic. I, that was a wonderful soundtrack. The visuals are cool, too, when they're up on my monitor when I'm drawing. Not always drawing penguins, but it was fun to hear them when I was drawing. All right. Now, the interesting way your creative mind works, right? Here, I'm going to put a dark shadow under this. See that? See what I'm doing here? The nook and cranny. I'll get really dark. Oops, time. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. I'm going to use a, a more fine eraser. See? When I was first started teaching, I used to be so against erasing. I would run around the rooms, hollering to the students, don't erase, stop erasing, just draw. You know, I'd break erasers off of pencils. <laughs> and now at 60, I look back at that, you know, 21, 22 year old self and I go, why were you breaking pencils or erasers off of pencils? Erasers are a really, really important tool. They give you the confidence to be able to be really loose and sketch. You can always adjust. You can always erase and modify. Okay, so that's the power of erasing. It gives you flexibility. It gives you the confidence to be able to explore and to push push your comfort zones. You know, look at, I'm going to put, see this, I'm going to darken a little bit of this feather coming out. See that? Push a little harder. We haven't even started the fun beak yet here. <laughs> 